this past week because they had a, a caucus, uh, Iowa Republican caucus, which, you know, the Joe's right themselves in that. Um, on January 16th, the story came out from NPR. Let's see what the takeaways are and what we learned as we reach an election season. We're already in full swing and come November, we got to make a choice, right? So this is, this is what's happening in January. After a year of campaign and more than 120 million spent in ads, you know, in Iowa, the caucus has gone to come. The result was pretty much what everyone expected. President, former president, Donald Trump won in the landslide. Here are the five takeaways. Republicans have been saying they're still with Trump. Believe them. Trump won by such a large margin that the Associated Press was able to call the race at 831, just a half hour after the voting began. It was able to do so because it had conducted a mass survey and compared the key precincts in the state, which showed Trump with the, uh, the biggest lead. So much of hit this race has been a race for second place, and that held up. Trump finished with more than 50 percent of the vote, had the most enthusiastic voter voters in the polling, and they showed up despite prediction that they would not because of the record cold. They wanted to come out and support uh, their boy, B Big T. They had to come out and support Big T. <laughs> T number two, Trump's criminal indictments have only helped him, at least with the G uh, GOP uh, base, because like when the, the, the mugshot came out, but he sold what, like $2 million worth of T-shirts like that with the mugshot on it. The GOP base is pretty much in all in on Trump's election lives conspiracies. That's according to the person that uh, wrote the story, just three and 10, said that they believe that Joe Bunt Joe Biden, shout out to Joe Biden, Joe Biden, two thirds even said that Trump, even if Trump was convicted, that he would still be fit to be the president. The signs have been clear that the, uh, Trump's campaign notice it raised tons of money from these indictments and Trump's lead only enhanced the GOP nominating process this year. His lead in Iowa, according to an average uh, of the polls, went up to a net of nine points since May. Number three, let's get into DeSantis, will interpret his second place finish as a reason to keep going, but a path to the nomination for him was closed off. So much of this primary campaign has been about the race for second place, with pol pol uh, politics in not grenades and horseshoes. And even if coming close mattered, that wasn't a close finish. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was barely ahead of Nikki Haley, and more importantly, he lost by 30 points to Trump. That's the largest margin in Iowa caucus history. Shit, let me see. Previously, the widest gap was 12.8 points. So you got stumped. DeSantis is bound to stay in, but it's hard to make the case for a path forward for him. Considering he and a super PAC supporting him spent millions of dollars on campaign ads. He visited all 99 counties, got the endorsement of the state's popular governor and its most influential religious leader. And it still did not matter. It still did not matter. See, he went and did some of the key things that you got to do when you're trying when you're trying to win these elections. He went, and he got with the head of the state, and he went and got with the most powerful people in church, and that still did not secure him to win because Trump has that. The, the number four, the states for Haley in New Hampshire just went up. Haley finished within a couple thousand votes of the census, and she was denied, and she denied Trump a, a clean sweep of all of the Iowa 99 counties. She won one county, Johnson County, in the eastern part of the state. But the stakes now for Haley in New Hampshire in a week have just gone up. Tonight, I will be back in the great state of New Hampshire, Haley said during her speech Monday night. She said the question before Americans is very clear. Do you want more of the same or do you want a new generation of conservative leadership? That's what Nikki Haley is saying. Um, number five. Caucuses don't just don't fe uh, feature high participation. So at the end of the day, this wasn't a whole bunch of voters that came out to make Trump the winner. Turnout was low in these caucuses compared to the record set 2016 turnout. Only about um, 110,000 Republicans caused caucus with 99 percent of results in at 1.30 a.m. That represented less than 15 percent of the total number of registered Republicans. So it's not a big amount of people, perhaps not surprising in record cold. But Trump got almost 900,000 votes in Iowa in 2020. Put it another way, almost 124 million was spent on campaign ads in Iowa by the Republican candidates, more than any other state by far. This translates to over 1,100 per person showed up um, to vote, voters to play such a prominent role in the presidential nominating process. Man, we keep it a buck. I see all that money raised up, they could be using some of that money to do at least some positive stunts and take it, donate it somewhere. You will get bigger press stories. And I know you got to pay your campaign people and all that. We get that. 
take some of that money you take to go speak and all that and go help the homeless go go you know go go you know go to a school and you know get, get the kids like a pizza party or something like go and do stuff with that money other than putting up signs and running tv ads because that i don't think that 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 um that way of advertising and promoting yourself is working no more it, it can't be working because look how much that they lost by get out there interact with people do something with the people make it so that these blogs and these news stations gotta write a story about what you did nobody wants to write a story about you going to speak nowhere boo boo unless you just said something crazy other than that, need to do some, you know, do something that makes people pay attention to you. It's the NYA show. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. This is just a caucus that uh, Donald Trump warned that it's to forecast the future when they do get out there for the real election. So you should be paying attention to this. You should be paying attention to this because if you don't want Donald Trump back in. You need to be paying attention. What are you going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? And if you do want Donald Trump in, you need to be paying attention. You need to see how he's moving. What does he have in his store? It's the NYA show. Appreciate everybody. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it per usual and let's get down to it.